begin by asking you, what sort of fascinated you about this aspect of the story and sort of focusing on the pre-production of Mary Poppins as opposed to the production of the film? Right. Um, you know, it's, it's, I think it's a script in a movie that's very much about the creative process and work product and not the finished product. And, and, and certainly there's, there's great value in showing the production of a movie as well and what goes on behind the scenes. But as a writer in Hollywood, this really spoke to me, uh, you know, being in the room, talking about the characters, holding, holding dear ideas that, uh, that other people might think uh, aren't necessary. Could this film have been made by any other studio than Walt no. Disney? No, it couldn't, and that's strictly right. from a legal standpoint. I mean, the intellectual property rights alone, Mickey Mouse, the songs, I mean, you could probably do another version of this movie if you took all that out and stripped it away, but it wouldn't be very interesting, I don't think. Was there anything that they asked you not to do or that they wanted you to do? Was there any kind of control in that way? No, uh, I, I, that's why I, th I don't think this script could have been developed at Disney. I think the fact that it became fully formed outside, both in Australia and through the UK and BBC Films and everything, allowed it to be fully formed and its own thing. And then Disney was brave enough to say, yes, let's do it. I, I was still, still very fearful that along the way they were going to try to chip away mm. at what I felt was a very fair and human portrayal of Walt that at some point somebody might say, let's not show him, show him smoking, or does he really need to have a scotch at five o'clock every day? Those kind of things. But, and I'm not gonna say there weren't discussions, there were, but what's in the script is in the movie and I'm very happy, you know. Tell me about casting Tom Hanks and Emma Thompson in these really iconic roles. Yeah, I mean, the first order of business, it's, a, it's Peel Travers' story um, and, and so the first order of business was who's going to play PL and w even when I was reading it I was thinking Emma Thompson because I hadn't seen her do anything like this in a long while and I thought th I definitely wanted to see it even as just a, a fan um, and then with Tom Hanks and Walt Disney oh boy what do you do with that one uh, <laughs> but I thought if Tom says no I don't know what I'll do um, because I thought we needed an icon playing an icon plus he's such a terrific actor yeah, there's no other actor that's that good and has really that gravitas that can yeah. bring to, to, to Mr. Yeah. Disney. Yeah, I mean, there's very few people that if you said Walt Disney, if you were still alive, would walk in the door and you go, that's Walt Disney. You do the same thing with Tom Hanks. Yeah. That's Tom Hanks. Absolutely. Uh, the film's really two movies in one. Was mm -hmm. it difficult and uh, challenging as a director to sort of separately shoot two films and, and then intercut them? It, it is. I mean, the difficulty is not in, in the... For the actors and stuff, they're in just, they just feel like they're in different movies. One's 1906 Australia, one's 61 Los Angeles. Um, but for John Schwartzman, director of photography, and myself, it's how do you hopefully seamlessly blend these so that it doesn't feel like 1961 with flashbacks, but it raises a question about time itself so that these are two parallel stories that hopefully like strands are kind of crossing, and, and she's not the most reliable narrator either. I mean, we're, these are childhood memories, and those tend to be idealized and stylized. So accomplishing all that visually, as well as the visual in and outs, the emotional ins and outs, uh, and tonally keeping pace with the thing. You know, it's, it's, it's a, you put a lot of thought into it and cross your fingers. Yeah, well, it shows you did an excellent job with the film. Thank Congratulations. You. Hey, thanks Great a lot. Great talking to you. Thank you so Great much. Great talking to you.